as big as a hairline crack. Sometimes it comes from behind and you don't see it. Maybe later, unable to move past the pain from a broken pelvis, an 80-something-year-old no, former dancer saw the irony. The first time I was nine and a half running to get away from the nagging quarrelsome atmosphere at home, I ran around the corner to join a group of girls playing across the street. I saw the car coming I tried to beat. I saw the girl on the skateboard decades later. I ran around to avoid hurting. The injured woman's daughter told me that her mother was out taking a walk. She was too vain to use a cane and often used the shopping cart instead. Not this time. It was a lovely day and she was feeling good, heading toward the senior center where she taught yoga classes. Suddenly, a few women began screaming at a man in a wheelchair. He kept crying, I didn't mean to hurt her. I don't know what happened. It's my eyes, the sun's glare. I didn't see. I didn't see the man who had hurt me in the eyes of the one who loved me. I didn't want to see how far beneath the skin his wedding ring penetrated. Didn't see that removing it was really irrelevant. <laughs> that the word X is a verbal placebo. It's like bones broken displaced in a hand or foot, or that conversation which took a wrong turn one day, swerving too fast around what we tried to avoid, landed us in the wrong place which we sought to mend with various kinds of sorry. You can't even see where it was broken, the doctor said of my finger. There's a stiffness that's always there, I said. I feel it more strongly on waking, he nodded. Pain caused by a hairline crack in her mother's pelvis took away the pain of needing a wheelchair, my friend told me. Maybe just till it heals and I'm back, her mother said. Her daughter never asked how far back she meant. Wow. Thank you.